Hi, I'm Jason Acorn. I'm 44 years old and I'm a co-founder of the Boneyard and the Boneyard Off Season. You know, I can remember starting to hunt back when I was just a little kid on my grandpa's farm. My brother and I uh, would take the gun out and go hunt stuff and it just stuck with us. It was handed down from our grandparents and, and my dad and my uncle and my brother and I have hunted our whole life and it's been great. Hunting nowadays, now that I'm in my 40s, it, it gives me a chance to decompress and to sort of slough off the, the busy life um, in the city. And once I get out into the outdoors, uh, all my problems, my worries, they go away and I, I can relax. And there's nothing more in life other than my family that I enjoy more than being in the outdoors. 250 yards down in the coulee, under a spruce tree. I'm, I'm pretty fortunate to have a really good memory of my successful hunts and a lot of the hunts that didn't really turn out as planned. Um, there's a, a few that are could easily take top spot in my uh, memory but I think what I would have to say is my number one hunt was when I took my 12 year old daughter Amanda out and within 20 minutes she had shot her first deer hard shot 30 yards it was a proud day for me and uh, definitely a hunt I'll never ever forget. Mandy you just shot a deer did it drop? Yes it's <laughs> you know, Calvin and I, we, we get a lot of uh, anti-hunter hate mail and, and some pretty disgusting comments on our Facebook page. And, you know, I understand that anti-hunters or the majority are, are ignorant of the facts and really don't understand what us as hunters and... and um, the conservation and what we do for the wildlife. So all you can really do is explain to them that, you know, if I kill a deer in, in the bush with an arrow, it dies quick, it's not extremely painful, and if I don't kill that deer, it will die eventually, and how it dies is that it gets its ass eaten out by a coyote. You know, what really burns me it's the hunters that hate the hunters and that really bugs me because the hunters that in the hole have to stick together. We have enough antis out there trying to destroy our way of life and our passions. These hunters, you know, those are the ones that you can't really talk to because their hatred is, is fueled by jealousy. It's fueled by resentment and they want to be something bigger but they're not and wh what do you say to guys like that there's nothing to say baba booey hit him with the hind you know if i always thought that if i didn't have a tv show would i continue to film my hunts i'd actually started filming uh myself uh a year or two before we even really decided to start a show um I'm getting a little older now and the camera's getting a lot heavier for me, but it is, it is something that just, it's hard. And when you can go out and record your successful hunt or uh, your adventures out in the outdoors and then be able to share them or not share them, keep them and, and be able to look back and reminisce on such great hunts. I think I'm, I'm always going to film my hunts. Hey now, I'm Jason Acorn and you're watching The Boneyard. Yeah! Whoa!